What's up, you guys? Another unboxing for you all today. So this is the 8-Bit Do SN30 Pro Bluetooth Gamepad. You can see I got the green color. Also comes in a translucent purple as well, which I highly recommend you check out. I'm probably also going to get that as a second player controller as well. Anyways, this is an unboxing and initial review. Check it out. All right, to start things off, I say 8-bit do. I used to say 8-bit do like Nintendo, but I recently saw a video of a guy installing a speaker, powering it on, and it said 8-bit do. So I'm going to start saying 8-bit do from now on. Correct me if I'm wrong. All right, so I've always had a lot of love for 8-bit do. As you can see here, here's one of my original controllers. Uh, this is the SNES 30. This too is a Bluetooth controller as well micro USB and then most recently I picked this guy up right here this is the uh, Retrobit Legacy 16 it's been a decent controller I have some gripes with it which I will tell you in a second and also do a full comparison between these controllers as well because they are extremely extremely similar main difference on this one here of course this one is 2.4 gigahertz so you need this little USB dongle I have a billion of these that's why I have this blue tape on here because I have to label all of them because they get lost and I'm I was getting lost in which one's which. All right, without further ado, let's go ahead and unbox this beautiful, beautiful game pad here. Let's go ahead and zoom in real quick. All right, unboxing coming at you. Gorgeous, gorgeous, lush, beautiful 4K. 8-bit do always stepping things up with the packaging. I love it. Uh, by the way, this is what's on the back here. Quick demonstration of uh, some compatibility. Switch, Windows, Android, Apple, Steam, and Raspberry Pi. I'm definitely going to be using this for the majority of these platforms. I don't really play console, but we do have a Switch at home, so I'll do a quick demonstration of pairing and uh, quick gameplay, but mainly it's going to be used in, uh, say, Windows and maybe Android and Raspberry Pi as well. Here's how the controller comes. You have a clamshell cover, clear design, and then the controller itself. There's a clear piece of plastic here. Let's go fill that off real quick. That right there. Also in the box you get a manual and a USB-A to USB-C cable. You do get a 8-bit do logo stamped in there as well. A one long page of instructions for your language. All right so here's a close-up of the controller. Typical 8-bit do fashion. Really really nice response on all buttons. Especially that D-pad, that is just buttery. I like it a lot. Feels solid. I mean, this is console worthy, honestly. You get your start and select. Um, that is offset. It's just basically evening out the uh, distance between the uh, D-pad and the buttons. You get dual thumbsticks. These are really similar to PlayStation style thumbsticks, and they're again really high quality as well. You also get two buttons here. And uh, that's pretty much the controller. You get four LEDs for noting uh, connection and then also player. It also has the different button combinations that you need to hit to uh, power it on and go into those mode inputs. So you have uh, Y, X, and B. Looks like D input in Apple is identical. And that's pretty much the controller. What do you guys think? Pretty nice, huh? All right, so I've got the Nintendo Switch here with me. I honestly have like no idea how to use this thing. Again, I'm always playing on my PC, so. All right, and then there is a pair button here right by the USB-C connection. Go ahead and hold that down. Change grip order. So I'm going to hold L and R at the same time. And it's paired, just like that. So right off the bat, just a few button presses I did push. This is really responsive. Again, quick gameplay here. I am no Mario Kart expert. I used to be a Mario Kart expert back in the day. Super Nintendo, I was like the guy to beat back in the day. All right, so you guys are going to be able to see my inputs here along with the screen and see how that lag is. I don't even know what gas is. All right, so that's A. So I do get some rumble here, and I should be able to get some gyro. Ooh. 
was not supposed to do that. I was busy demonstrating for you guys. So thumbstick works okay. That rumble is really, really high quality. Bop. Oh, just missed that speed strip. I don't know, what do you guys think about the lag? I think it's perfectly, perfectly acceptable. Not really noticing any extra lag from the uh, actual Nintendo controllers here. Yeah, this is a really, really awesome experience so far. Um, loving the uh, look and feel of this controller. Okay, that did work, so I was doing it too late. Oh, hit the sign there. Yeah, overall, awesome experience, really awesome usage. This is probably the best aftermarket controller I have ever used. Any console. And this is exactly what I intended to use it for. Not really to use it for any competitive, um, you know, gameplay, no Street Fighter or Mortal Kombat. Probably just some, uh, you know, lounging around, fun gameplay. If I want zero lag, I can always plug this into my PC directly via USB-C. Yeah, otherwise, this is a really, really nice controller. Let's check this uh, movement out real quick. Bop. But yeah, otherwise, this is a really great controller. If you're looking for a controller that can work for uh, just about everything, man, this is the way to go. Let's see if I can hit anyone with this shell. Nope. Oh, well, I'll take that first place. All right, so there it is, you guys. 8-bit do. SN30 Pro controller. This is the uh, translucent green. They also make a translucent purple as well. And a whole lot of other colors that look like PlayStation, Game Boy, Super Nintendo, things like that. But yeah, I'm loving this green. What do you guys think? Is it a winner or what? Anyways, you guys, please like and comment with your feedback. Let me know what you guys think about this controller. Also, if there's anything else that you recommend I check out, I am always, always looking to connect more controllers. I got a ton of controllers right here. I also got a few others from Retrobit. I got the Genesis and the Saturn. Really love collecting these controllers, especially stuff like this. That's a winner. I'm going to use this a ton. And I will be looking to purchase the one in purple as well. Please check out my affiliate link in the description below if you're interested. Otherwise, if you're feeling generous, please consider that subscribe button. Help support me and the channel. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Peace.